still got an iconic black man voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Did they die? Oh, those are the things that work with Steppenwolf. I don't know this. Oh, okay, they're not really dying. This is a nightmare, bro. Yeah, this ain't real, bro. Damn, are we prepping for the finale right here, yo? Oh, hate to live here, bro. Yeah, right? Oh, my. Oh, wow, they're dying. Watching live TV and a newscaster died. Bro, this can't be real. All these people are dying. Nah, they must be getting teleported. I think that's what's going on. Bro, ain't no effing way. Nah, I think Walt is right, bro. They're not actually getting killed. They're getting teleported. Yeah. We are Earth Heroes now. Two minutes. Two boys stupid. He said, what are we waiting for? A theme song? Must be some fortress. No, it's okay. Guess there's a lot of Superman I'll never know. Shut up. He's so annoying with that. He has a house I could have stayed in. He's a fortress. Not that all aliens are automatically ugly. Two boys barely alien. He's an alien, bro. It's because he don't yeah, look like it. Yeah, but like, no, it's not your dad. It's just like, you don't look black, but you're still black, though. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not why I'm saying that. Alien, bro. Are you saying it because he's a clone? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying it. It has nothing to do with how he looks. <laughs> that stuff is a lady. Yo! <laughs> Joe, I look at you like, like Russell Westbrook. Wow, the dog's about to sacrifice himself. Oh! Teleportation. That ship is so advanced, bro. It's a bio ship. It's like a human ship. You mean like a biological, like, like, yeah. like alive. Yeah. Damn. Wow. I, this is like, it was like when Kuma first showed up in Sabaldi and then everybody was getting smacked and like, are they dying? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. What's the last thing I do? Funny. Yeah, that is, yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't convinced. I did not believe you. RTTV! Oh. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash that subscribe button. And welcome back to RTTV Reacts, where we react to everything! Uh. If you want early and full reactions of this show, make sure you guys check us out on Patreon. Link in the description down below. Patreon.com slash RTTV. <laughs> Oh, he's still alive, Uncle John. Hello, Wally. Come on. <laughs> Not Wally doing the same thing. Look, he's giving off theta beams. The same stuff that powers our theta tubes. So he's a real scientist. Yeah, he teleports. Yep. Patrick. No, actually, he loves because he said it first. I got my boy Aqualad. Our next mission is most likely to be perceived as a threat, motivating the aliens to deploy. I like how Robin doesn't act on emotion. He's like, yo, we gotta just get the job done, guys. We can't even, we got no time to BS right now. And never forget, the Earth will never surrender. Look at that, Alfred. Huzzah! Yeah, what the hell? 
if Manhunter couldn't put that together, then there's no way I would have. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm if anybody was able to get like a, a basically a threat level possibility of what could happen, it would be Martian Manhunter. I don't know shit about te- uh, telepathic uh, training exercises, so I wouldn't be able to deduce like, yo, there's a chance I could end up in a permanent coma. Coma. He just found that out right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think that we we took uh, our most expert on the on that type of situation with us. And it just failed. It just backfired, and we could have never known that. Because yeah. a little kid ended up having more telepathic power than our, our best telepath. Yeah. You can't even. That's not something you think of. So. And based on what happened in exercise, how do you think that this would affect the team? I think it brings them closer, if anything. Because I feel like it was their feelings for each other that derailed McGann's uh, ability to to complete the exercise. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like. Because they have strong feelings for each other, uh, they really care about each other. I think that they'll learn that about each other, and uh, I guess like the camaraderie in the team will be better. Yeah, Wally's about to cuff up Artemis. Yeah, that's what made me realize, bro. I do the whole mission. I was like, Artemis, Artemis, I gotta say Artemis, 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 like <laughs> Artemis Arpits. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's like that. I think that's what's gonna get out of it, and um. I think we're gonna explore more of Megan's powers, but she may be actually weary of her powers. Why she is may that? become insecure of her powers because she's like, "Damn, I'm so strong that it almost caused uh, not the permanent coma of yeah. my team. It wasn't that yeah, exactly." Because he so. said, "Yo, I didn't wake her up and remember, like y'all could have been in a coma that I couldn't have woke you up from. So like that is a scary thing. But I also think that once make once McGann can get like confidence in her powers, she might be the strongest on the team. Yeah." Because like maybe that's the thing. Spider-Man stage, mm. you know, like in Spider-Man Two, where he, like he wasn't able to use his powers because mm-hmm. he lost confidence. Mm. She might go through that type of situation for like an episode and a half, but then like, um, what's that? What? Superboy. What's Superboy? Yeah, it's gonna help her like come back to her senses. And if anything, bro, if anything, they should have some type of weird feeling about the Justice League. So you mean that you sent me into some shit and I almost died? Yeah. Ain't y'all supposed to be the goddamn ghost of this shit? Like, what you mean? Like, am I the Justice League or you the Justice League? Which one? Because, like, man, that's crazy. Your coach sent you to do something you almost died. Bro, did you think about what you were going to make me do? Ain't you the one who's supposed to meet, what's coach me through this shit? But that's why I even asked her, that's why I even asked the first question, too. Yeah, but, but, but I like, feel like it's not necessarily, like, within us because we had no, like, yeah. we did nothing wrong within us besides, like, love each other, which put us in a bad position. But what y'all did is put me in a terrible space and then almost didn't get me out. And all you have for me when we get out is, I think I understated her powers. Well, no shit, Sherlock. But I think in their defense, because we're also seeing that these the Justice League are stronger versions and more polished versions of these superheroes, right? Of these young heroes. So I think that in their defense, it was something that they all discussed and thought that it was a good idea. And thought that they would be able to control the situation, especially because Martian Manhunter was the one controlling the situation. So they thought, hey, if worse comes to worse, Martian Manhunter could just take control of it and get them out of there. But I think that was a learning experience for them too. So I mean, it, it sucks. It's su- I feel you, Evan. I do feel you. I feel you because they almost died. But also, I mean, you're starting to understand these. You're starting to understand these heroes. A little bit more from a Justice League standpoint and understand what you got to be wary of remember like one thing about Batman is Batman he makes it his mission to know everything about every hero just in case he has to be just in case he has to make a contingency plan to stop that hero so I think that this was a good learning experience for them but not nah, for sure but I just think if anybody was wrong it was the Justice League okay. like the young Justice League shit like mm-hmm. all we did was get put in a situation that yeah maybe we weren't strong enough mentally to think but like Bro, if I go to if I go to pre cal class and she tell me the wrong answer and that's what I devote like you're supposed to be the smart one here like I'm a kid I'm supposed to learn from you so the fact that I'm almost dying is like I lose confidence in you I don't really lose confidence in my team because my team we're supposed to be learning y'all supposed to be veterans like if I can't look to the vet on the team what am I supposed to do Yeah, I didn't even sign a waiver that I could possibly die I mean <laughs> you're a hero though there's in always a possibility that you could die no no no, no. There's no way in the handbook that says that I could possibly die in this training exercise. It's training. It's not an actual mission. From a telepath? See, you wouldn't think... Yeah, oh, see, bro, nah, bro, what you see, know about... Nah, nah. They're saying that based on after watching this episode. 
going into this as a Young Justice member without having any common knowledge of what could happen through a telepathic training exercise, you would have no idea, indication that you could die within that training. It's a training. But, why would they want to kill me in a training exercise? But here's the thing. It's you, a training going to field. I agree with you to an extent, right? Because it's a training exercise, so you have no idea what's going to happen, right? And you wouldn't think that you're going to die because it's a training exercise. However, I think it's crazy to think that you're a hero, right? As a hero who deals with all these crazy people who have all these crazy powers, to think that in a when you're in a position of t um, telepathic, how do you say Tele it? Tele what? Telepathic. Telepathic. Telepathic, okay. Um, when you're in a position dealing with somebody with telepathic powers, that there's a possibility that you could die from somebody who's using telepathic powers on you, no matter how they're using it. So you got to you got to uh, think about I that too. I don't agree. If it's, tra oh, if it's yeah, training, I mean, oh, no. not, there's only oh, no, one man. show, two shows, one show in my head that I have. <laughs> I'm trying to think because X Men. I'll tell you right now, every single training exercise that X Men do. There's no no possibility. It's of not. Dying. It's not about the training exercise. It's about dealing with. It's about who's doing the training exercise. That's what I'm and saying. You're adding that because of the fact that you watch this episode. I'm saying no, that. No, I'm not. It's a, I'm adding it's that. It's a training exercise nonetheless, though. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's like, even though you're dealing with a telepathic person, put it like this, right? Before this episode, I would have never thought I could die within a telepathic training exercise. And so I learned the fact that, yo, with a person that's strong enough, that I could be put into a, I could be seduced, I mean, turned into, whatever, turned into a coma, bro. But here's the thing. It's not about, that's what I'm saying. And it has nothing to do with me watching this episode. It's not about the training exercise. It's about it's being administered telepathically. And telepaths can kill people with their telepathic powers. That's why I'm saying, like... But it's a training from, uh, exercise. I game. know, I know, but, like, you, you don't you know just nothing. Know. You that, learn yes, through no, shows no, 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 what a power... Put it like this. In the real world, there's no telepathic In the real person. world, there's not superheroes. So, that's my point. So, therefore, all your knowledge that's coming from telepathic abilities is coming from this right here. Would you not say that? I'm not... Well, it's yeah, like but, but Pat, Pat, I'm speaking from a perspective of... A superhero from in this world. Do you honestly think somebody like Batman? You just do you honestly my point. think? Do you honestly think Batman doesn't think a telepath could kill somebody with their telepathic You're powers? You're proving my point. We're getting all the information based on this world since it's not our world. So it's easy for you to. It's like it's like limitless. How it's like with him. It's like all the memories and the, like things that he's getting is from things from his past time and stuff like that. So you're only having that reflection because of the fact you know information based on what you no, see I'm in saying, the show. I'm saying it's this. not real. I'm so you're getting this. all the information from the show, bro. I'm saying this as a superhero from a superhero's perspective. From a superhero's perspective. From this, right? For if you're a superhero in this world, right? Yes. You have to think that there's a possibility that something could go wrong because a person who is administering the power. To go through that training exercise is doing it telepathically. And because a telepath is capable of killing, could possibly kill somebody with a telepathic power. The reason why the reason why the go reason ahead. why I even say Batman is because Batman makes it known to know anything and everything about the heroes that he's dealing with, not only the heroes, but also the villains that he's dealing dealing with. So I would think that he would think that there's some risk. So why did he do this? Some risk. So why did he let? So how did he just find no, out he's about wrong. this? He's wrong. Jerry, That's I don't think that makes sense. Like, yo, no, Jerry, no, Jerry, think, no, no, think about Jerry, what you just said. He literally said he didn't think this could happen. Exactly. Because he didn't know how strong McGann was. That don't make no, sense, No, but that's, bro. that's, okay, but that's McGann. I'm just saying, like, there's still a risk. There's, I'm but here's my thing, here's my thing, here's my thing. This is just not what I'm saying. My question to you is, my question to you is, did Martian Manhood not say, I didn't know it was going to happen, yo. I understated McGann. So it, it, by your by your thing of Batman knowing everything, Batman should have known from the beginning. It's like, not about. You might take your shit over, exactly, bro. Exactly. No, like, that, that's not what I. Guys, okay, you just because, said based on Batman. No, no, yeah, I said I said that based on Batman. So why, why did he put him through this? Yo, listen, listen why did he put him through this? Listen, listen, listen. That's irresponsible. This is this is he's irresponsible. Yeah, this is that's it. That's it. That's the case. He's irresponsible. This is the thing. This is the thing that I'm saying. This is the thing that I'm saying. Right? Because you guys keep saying that. You guys are saying it as if, as if I'm saying, oh, he knew McGann was going to do, which I'm not saying that at all. You're saying if you're Batman, you know everything correct? about everybody and villains. That's I tried to know everything, every that, and everything about so he villains and heroes. So, he so, he so he I know, he I know, I know about. In this case, he did fail. Oh, all right. Cool. So he failed. Right. He failed because my thing is like, yo, if I am <laughs> Batman, for what? We see Batman is, even if he doesn't know the full extent of somebody's powers, he knows what a power can do to somebody. 
even if they have it. That's what I'm saying. This is a that was still a risk that he put his team on because he put them through a telepathic training exercise, not a regular training they exercise. Say the kids means. basically should have known that they could almost die. No, he no said I'm, that saying, I'm saying that. that Batman, that's not even true. I'm though. saying that. Batman, I don't agree with that at all. You're telling me that Batman knows that the kids could have died. No, I'm saying I'm saying that there's I'm saying that there should have been. He should have known that there should have been some type of risk because. Yo, John John is using his telepathic powers in order to um, administer this training record exercise. So yes, I am saying Batman failed because of that. Because like, yo, you should know, if you know that telepathic powers are dangerous, right? You should know that when you're dealing with the telepath in any form, any way, shape, or form, even if it's a training exercise, you never know what's going to happen, that he should know the risk. Do you realize what you just did right there? You just said that Batman failed. So that basically means that you're putting an expectation on what Batman should have known, but he didn't know. Hence that, in this scenario, didn't Batman die. didn't know that these kids could have died in this situation. That have, but That's what I'm saying. You're basically I'm, I'm, saying I'm, I'm, he should have. For what he knows, I'm, I'm just saying because of what... Bat, because of Batman being Batman? No, because... No, seriously. Because of Batman that. being I Batman... I got you. Yeah, you know, no, you don't. Got, because of Batman being Batman, he that should know that there was some, he, would, he should know that there's some risk with them dealing with the exactly. Exactly. He said he should. should. No, but so he didn't that, know. So he didn't know. He, he didn't know, therefore, like it wasn't a, a real risk to everybody. Like yeah. you're saying, you know, everybody would everybody shouldn't have known because not even Batman knew. Not yeah. even John knew. Yeah, it was still a I mean it was still a risk. It was still at the end of the day, in the long run, it was still a risk because everybody It was we know now that we know now. That's what I'm saying. Now that it was. And put it this way, I don't know. he overestimated his boy. His boy didn't know him again. Yeah. It was it was an issue, bro. At the end of the day, nobody went into it. Like he even said, like, bro, I ain't even know, like, bro, this is going. I, y'all was almost in a But I think it. But I also think it's easy to be like, all right, this is this isn't a risk because I believe Batman thinks that knows that telepathic powers can hurt you. But I think it's easy to think that this isn't a risk because of the person who's administering it exactly. too. That's the only thing. Exactly. They use That's the only thing. There's more ways that they use telepathic powers. They use literally talking their heads all the time. No, they, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if they would have thought it was that risky. And they said that they do these training exercises for the Justice League too. Yeah. So this is probably like the first time it went wrong so they didn't know. Bro, she was just way too strong. Yeah. And he yeah. said, bro, yeah. you think he would have ever, right, think about this, would he have ever administered that training if he knew McGann was stronger than him? No. no. <laughs> he was like, no, I can't uh, control this shit. Like, yo, the person who's supposed to be the lab, the the lab, run the lab is like, all right, well, I'm getting ran now. So what do I do? Uh, so much so that they put me, I put myself in my own simulation and then confuse the shit on myself. Like, damn. What I guess there's a I point. Mean? I guess there's a point of like, yeah, because you're dealing with the telepath and he's not used that power on you. Like you trust him to that extent to be able to deal with the kids and like be able yeah. to handle that situation. Okay. Yeah. All right. But if it's your first time here, definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill murder and smash, smash that subscribe button. I'm the man, the myth, the maniac, Wilkins underscore RT. Mike Ross. It's your boy Wells. Jim Halper. Mike Ross. <laughs> <laughs>